Russian economy facing collapse with mega recession this year to cripple Putin. Russia is heading for a major recession this year, with the economy to contract by as much as 12%, Western officials believe. The impact of sanctions imposed on Moscow by the UK, US and EU are having a devastating impact with the Kremlin scrambling to keep the economy afloat. Moscow has been badly hit by measures being slowly ratcheted up since the invasion of Ukraine on February 24. It has left Russia isolated economically, cut off from accessing foreign currencies while its banks are unable to use the SWIFT payment system, which speeds up transactions between countries. Western companies have also pulled out of the country, suspending trading in Russia. More than six weeks into the Ukraine conflict, Western officials believe tough measures are badly hurting Moscow. One said, Russia is on course for a deep recession in 2022. GDP growth forecasts range from minus 7% to minus 12%. That would mean it's worse than the 1998 financial crisis which hit Russia, but also worse than 2008 for them. In 1998, the Russian stock, bond and currency markets collapsed in what became known as the ruble crisis. It led to the ruble being devalued and Moscow defaulting on its debt. The economy shrank by 5.3% and widespread protests broke out across the country. Western allies have been working in collaboration to ensure maximum impact from sanctions on Vladimir Putin and his cronies. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has spoken of his desire to turn Russia into a pariah on the world stage as punishment for his incursion into Ukraine. It is hoped the crippling impact of the sanctions on the Russian economy will force Putin and the Kremlin into a rethink on war. Today, number 10 indicated Mr. Johnson is eager to impose even further sanctions on Moscow after fresh evidence of atrocities in Ukraine emerged. Mass graves have been discovered in areas where Russian forces had withdrawn from around Kyiv and there have been reports of the military using rape as a way to terrorize the civilian population. The Prime Minister's official spokesman said scenes over the weekend were barbaric.